evening. Welcome to the select board meeting for June 16th, 2011. First item on the agenda is a salute to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I make a motion we approve the agenda as written. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. I make a mo motion we approve the minutes of the last meeting. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Seeing no old business, moving on to new business. We have some lawn care bids to be opened. That one is not sealed. <laughs> okay, first bid is from Tall Grass Lawn Care. Bid for the Town of Acton, Maine for mowing and lawn care services. Services include mowing, weed whacking, removal of brush and or debris, and fertilizing. Based on a 10 to 14 day mowing cycle from July 2011 through November 2011, also the use of 200 pounds of fertilizer as needed. The cost will be as follows, 2,500 for the properties listed, Acton Town Hall, Public Safety Building, Lincoln School, and Mary Grant property. Bid. From Premier Property Care by DB MDB out of Wakefield, New Hampshire. The last one was from Acton. Lawn Service and Landscape Maintenance Proposal for the Acton Town Hall, Public Safety Building, Mary Grant Nature Preserve, and Lincoln School. Total is for $185 per session, $3,145 per season for the mowing, leaf removal $180, yard cleanup $210, reseeding at $0.08 cents per square foot, fertilizing at $0.04 cents per square foot, for a grand total of 3,745. I make a motion we award oh, three. Yeah, no, more. Oh, I thought there was only two. Oh, no. <laughs> but I appreciate your efficiency. <laughs> well, I asked earlier and there was only two, so. Uh, do we have more after this one? Yes, one more. Okay, so this is three of four. Okay. This is from Yard Enhancement Specialists out of East Wakefield and Rochester. And they have given us a, I'm trying to find out how to read their final price here. They don't give us a final price. So I will read through. Um, we have spring cleanup of $125, weekly mowing at $45, Fertilizing at $60. Weekly fall cleanup or one-time fall cleanup of $125. Preparation package of seeding at $30. Spring cleanup for $125. This is it's Yeah, but spring isn't again. included though. Right. They have included it. Yeah, because we're, we're going only till October. They've also their bid is very odd. So we have two bids that are identical. One is simply handwritten and one is printed. I'll give those to you guys. They're identical. The next, what looks like a bid inside, actually says spring cleanup of $300, weekly mowing at $180, fertilizing at $150, fall cleanup of $300, and seeding of $75. So these numbers are. I wonder different. if it's for the four different. Oh, you know what it is? Look, guys. Four look different tall. properties. So Mary Grant, t Public Safety, Town Hall, and Lincoln School. <laughs> so it looks like weekly mowing grand total one twenty five plus one eighty five is three oh five plus forty five is three fifty plus forty five is three ninety five a week in mowing. Times well, even if we just did ten weeks, that's three thousand nine hundred fifty just in mowing. Shall we move on? Yes. Okay. Last bid, please. This is from C&D Landscaping of Shapley, Maine. It is for a grand total for mowing 
for the whole season and weed whacking, $3,600. It does not include money for seeding or fertilizing. Is it C and and D or C and D? The letter C, amber sand, okay. letter D. Okay. Okay. And again, it does not include the um, the the fertilizing or the seeding. Okay. Was there insurance policies with these other two? There were insurance policies included this with Robin. Okay, so we have insurance with the first bid. Tall grass. Yep. Okay. We have insurance with the last bid. Uh, yard enhancement. We do not have insurance included with the third bid. And we got one more to open. We don't have any more to open. Um, looking for insurance. We do not have oh, insurance CD. included with the second one. All right. So Premier has none. That uh, is included. It has, yeah. Okay. And. Um, so we only have one with insurance? Tall grass and the final. Both had their oh, insurance. Oh, and C, C and D. Yes. Okay. So to recap, tall grass comes in at 2500 for all services. Um, Premier Property Care comes in at 3145 Yard Enhancement Services, 3745 And the um, C and D comes in at 3600 is that right? Um, no. Your property is the, uh, yard enhancement is thirty-nine fifty, just for mowing. Oh, I'm sorry. The total for premier property three thousand seven hundred forty-five, and then three thousand nine hundred fifty just for mowing. For, for yard, yard enhancement, and then thirty-six hundred for C and D. Okay. Does anyone have a pleasure? I make a motion we award the contract to Tall Grass Lawn Care. Second. Any discussion? I'll just say they've done a good job this year, and that is by far the lowest bid and a fair price. So, great. Um, all in favor? Aye. Wonderful. Next, we have a mass gathering permit request from the Volkswagen um, people, Vacation Land Volkswagen. Came to us last year, had a great event, um, and I'm assuming it's the same sort of thing. Do you want to come up and just tell us briefly about it? Sure. last year and put on our show and had a really good time. Uh, we got the local 4-H club to uh, help us with the gate attendance, so we gave them half our gate. Oh, so nice. it helped the local 4-H club and they got, made sandwiches and stuff like that. Uh, just had a really good time, really felt uh, comfortable and welcomed by the town of Acton, so we said, hey, let's do it again. Great. So here we are. Wonderful. Does anyone have any questions for them? No, These are your brochures, uh, yes, uh, flyers yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. If anybody wants to find out what it's all about, there's flyers right here on the table. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, wonderful. And if you do... Um, you don't need to go down through the things and just ask them. Okay. It makes Thank sure you. Applause. <coughs> Thank you, Lorraine. <laughs> okay. So the name of the applicant is the Vacation Land Volkswagen Association. Um, in accordance with the mass gathering ordinance of the town of Acton, the following standards have been reviewed for compliance with the ordinance. Do you have satisfactory access? Yes. Do you have satisfactory grounds? Yes. Do you have satisfactory water supply? Yes. Sanitation available? Yes. Refuse disposal? Yes. Safety? Yes. Medical? Uh, we'll have to talk to the uh, fire chief. Okay. So in general, do we, f do you, we usually just assume uh, that- if you, if you contact the Acton Ambulance, so yeah. that they're aware that yep. you've got a function going yeah. on. And we fully expect them to be satisfactory. Absolutely. And do you expect to break our sound ordinances with your event? Absolutely not. Wonderful to hear. Um, have you provided us with evidence of insurance? I believe yes. that you have. Yes. Insurance? Okay. Um, and you've provided us with our $100 fee. Yes. And are we set? Okay. So would anyone like to make a motion to either grant or deny this permit? I make a motion. We uh, approve the mass gathering permit for vacation land Volkswagen. Uh, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Wonderful. So the permit is granted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
think this is the first one of these I've done. Do you want to wait until after the meeting to get your copy of the application? Or do you um, want? Sure, we can come back up and get it. You can come back up another time and get it if you want to. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Here's your paper clip, Lorraine. Moving on to an animal welfare contract, which is with Bill. Bill, do you want to fill us in? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we ad lib Bill. <laughs> Okay, every year we need to sign a contract to provide um, care for our animals that our animal control officer picks up that are in distress or that are wandering around as strays. Um, we have always, to my knowledge, gone with the Kennebunk Shelter, just there actually on Tuesday. It's a beautiful, beautiful facility, um, or Wednesday, I guess. Can't think of a better place for our animals to be going, and there isn't any place closer that we could be saving on mileage, even if we were willing to send animals to a less gourmet establishment. Um, so the contract is payable in four installments of $758.57 for a total of $3,034.28. And I would also like to point out that this is not actually an option. We are required as a town to contract with someone. So it's it's not that this is not a an add-on that we are tossing at you. It's it's required by state law. And we budget it for this through yes. the animal control. Yes. Okay. I make a motion we sign the animal welfare contract. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wonderful. And if you'll sign them both, we keep one, we return one to them. Do you need three signatures or just one? I don't know. What's it say? It just has one line. Just one. One's all it's necessary. Yeah. Does the same person have to sign both of them? I was going to say we could make time, but anyway. Um, I was. Do you want? I was thinking that we could just run through the names. I would just run through the name and the position, and then maybe make a motion okay. to just on mass. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, on mass, yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's one. I'm not sure we're going one by one. That fee is based on a per capita of a dollar twenty-four per resident per uh, population. Okay. If everyone will bear with us, we have the um, yearly tedium but very necessary of appointments. So I'm just going to read the name of the person, the position that they're being appointed for, and then after the entire list has gone through, if people wish to make a motion to approve the appointments as read and second we will move from there is that amenable to everyone okay Dan Archambault Board of Assessment Review um, to expire on June 30th 2014 Dan Archambault Fair Hearing Authority member June 30th 2014 Dan Archambault Zoning Board of Appeals alternate member June 30th 2014 Ed Walsh Acton Fire Chief June 30th 2012 Frank Shippey Animal Control Officer June 30th 2012 Kenneth Paul, Code Enforcement Officer, June 30th, 2012. Steve McDonough, Deputy Code Enforcement Officer, June 30th, 2012. Linda Whitman, Health Officer, <clears throat> June 30th, 2012. Robert Anderson, Constable, June 30th, 2012. Ed Walsh, Emergency Management Director, June 30th, 2012. William Catanzi, Emergency Manager Director, June 30th, 2012. William Catanzi, E911 Addressing Officer, June 30th, 2012. Lorraine Yetten, Representative to Southern Maine Regional Planning Commission, June 30th, 2012. Tom Cashin, Representative to Southern Maine Regional Planning Commission, June 30th, 2012. Robert Anderson, Zoning Board of Appeals member, June 30th, 2014. George Lassard, Zoning Board of Appeals member, June 30th, 2014. Paul Hansen, Zoning Board of Appeals member, June 30th, 2014. Gary Morrison, Board of Assessment Review Member, June 30th, 2014. Dwight Fennell, Board of Assessment Review Member, June 30th, 2014.
Dwight Vanell, Fair Hearing Authority Member, June 30th, 2014. Gary Morrison, Fair Hearing Authority Member, June 30th, 2014. Carl Davis, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Eric Gallagher, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Richard Johnson, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Barbara Seeker, J Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Jim Wilson, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Susan Meehan, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Ethan Current, Mary Grant Nature Preserve Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Nancy Ruma, Acton Public Access Television Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Barbara Seeker, Acton Public Access Television Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Virginia DeBoer, Acton Public Access Television Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Mary Waterhouse, Acton Public Access Television Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Susan Meehan, Acting Public Access Television Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Virginia Shea, Policy Review Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Elaine Beck, Policy Review Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Debbie Casey, Policy Review Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Steve Casey, Policy Review Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. Marion Elliott, Policy Review Committee Member, June 30th, 2012. I make a motion we uh, appoint all the people as written. Uh, Any discussion? Um, I just have one question. Do um, we still have one more opening on the cable committee? You, there's only four of you. That's as far as I know. Okay. I I, I, I I didn't count, so I didn't know. Nope. That's the only question I had. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Wonderful. <coughs> Actually, you know what? We'll sign Let's, them afterwards. Yeah, we can send them afterwards. The people are not just sitting here watching us sign. Good idea. Okay. Moving on. Um, we're going to be putting out two bids um, for the communication system and the roofing bid um, at the Acton School. Um, when will they be out in the paper, Lorraine, if, I, if we give them to you? What's Actually. the date? Tuesday. Um, the date when it's going to be in the paper? They'll be out in the paper next Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll put them in. I'll put them in tomorrow. Okay, so be until the smarts are up. Uh, okay, so they'll be going in the paper tomorrow, and then um, the deadline for submission is 4 p.m. July 13, 2011, um, and that's for both uh, the request for a proposal for uh, the removal and replacement of approximately 6,600 square feet of asphalt shingles on the uh, gym roof, and to replace the communication system uh, at the Acton School. You want them to run more than one week, or one week satisfactory? Oh, I think two weeks. Two weeks. Something two weeks. That big. Yeah, okay. it's twenty-five thousand dollars for each. So, I'm, what? Yeah, the budget for that. So, right. Okay, moving and opening up the floor to any other business. Marion Elliott. If you'll notice, we have moved it up to twelve hundred. Tonight, there were more donations, and it's up to 1270. So I'd like Barbara to come up, and we, she's worked really hard, too. Come up here and say hello, and <laughs> thank everybody. <laughs> I think we need to thank everybody, really. Yes, that's the reason for me getting up. I would like to thank everyone who contributed. It uh, was nice to see how many people were interested in getting new chairs. So sometime within the next year, you'll have a better seat, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, thank, so you, thank you. So thank you, everybody. Yep. Great. Yeah. Sure, Bill. <laughs> it, indeed. <laughs> Is there any other business? OK, announcements. Um, we have openings for members to be appointed to the planning board, uh, a policy committee member, and we're still looking for somebody to be on the cable committee. So anybody that is interested, uh, please let Lorraine know, and uh, we will keep that open until we uh, find somebody that's willing to um, fill the positions on those committees. Great. Also, please note that um, because it is summer and we are all looking forward to that, the board is going to be holding meetings only once per month in the month of July and the month of August. So our meeting dates will be July 28th and August 25th. Also to that end, we will not be holding consistent workshop hours on Tuesdays during the months of July and August, but we will of course be available by appointment or by chance. So 
August 25th, which is the first night of the Acton Fair. We are aware of that, um, but I'm sure that nobody, you know, wanted to go there that night. Right, Lorraine? <laughs> Up for discussion, clearly, in the future. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on July 28th as to when our meeting will be. But um, so those hours will be made. Any other announcements from anyone? No. All right, well, then I have a little announcement. So in 2009, when I came onto the board, I suggested that we equalize the pay between all of the board members instead of having a, a bonus stipend for the, the chair of the board. And part of the argument for that was I was in hopes that our town would become one of the many other towns that rotates its chair. That, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many of the other municipal officials I've spoken with, government works better if the position of chair is rotated among board members. It gives the town a chance to hear about the workings of the town from a different voice. It gives the board members a chance to play a different role on the board. And it prevents any one person from becoming too comfortable in their position. So I am very pleased that we have a board that we get to experiment with this on that we, for the first time in many years, have a board that is the same as it was the year before. That's, you know, kind of big news for Acton lately. Um, and to that end, I am pleased that I will not be chair at our July meeting, that we will be passing that position on to another board member, um, unless something goes horribly awry that I'm not aware of. So um, I have loved being chair. It has been great. I've had a wonderful year. This has been a great board to work with. Um, but I'm also looking forward to seeing a different system in place in Acton and hope that it serves the people as well as I really sincerely believe it will. So that's that. OK. Um, anything else? All right, then I, may I May I just say something? If you would I, come to the podium. I just want to say that I think the board as a whole and the various departments in town are working A plus. They're all working hard, they're working together, and it's wonderful. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Excellent. Well, that on that lovely positive note, and what a great way to end my year as chair. Anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye.